pretty crazy. Guys, we're going to go into set number four here. It's going to be on Dead Wing. Couldn't ask for a better map. Really, really big map, and especially if they hit cross spawns. This could be another really long, awesome PvP, guys. Tell your friends what is going on here in SSL. It's Deer versus SOS going into game number four. Down here in the bottom left, in the blue, it is Deer. Got the lead right now, keeping on the heat. Up here to the top left, in red, it's SOS. Taking a little bit of heat in that game, but still playing a great game. Uh, eventually though, I would argue exactly what you're talking about is that pressure in the main base drawn his Colossi back enough times uh, to where he got a little bit out of position. Now we're spawning vertically, so it's not the cross ones I wanted. Um, but Nor I. We'll see how this one plays out, because it's still a pretty, pretty long rush distance here. He was high almost watching Stork pace around. He's like, oh, God. Yeah. He's like, Deer's like, been having some tough times, but today, man, he's doing so well. He doesn't even know what to say to himself, man. It's like calling his girlfriend. He's like, he's like oh, my God, you watching Deer? <laughs> he, didn't take the, he didn't take the sound blockers off, and he's playing so well. Maybe I should yeah. step down. <laughs> <laughs> he's still disrespecting me, but it seems to be working. Um, I don't know, man. Like, if Deer can take a win like that, you know, some of the PvPs have been casting. I cast a, a few with you. I've cast a few with Moonglade recently where it's just like, you get this early advantage where it's like, oh, well, you went Blink. Yeah. Blink is a dying build, it seems like, in this matchup. It's like, well, okay. The perfect series was yesterday, Classic versus Creator. It was yeah. just like so one-sided, and like every single time Classic got super far ahead really early, and we're like, oh, all right, well, stick with us for 10, 15 minutes, guys. This is going to end in Classic's favor. Deer knew exactly what to do, though. He was like, just, I'm going to pressure. I'm going to sit back, I'm going to be safe, and I'm going to also take insane risks. Like, I'm going to go double Robo Colossi. Um, and if you don't see that, then maybe I get away with it. I, I, and he spent all this Chrono Boost on probes and Forge upgrades. And he also he didn't overmake Stalkers. You yeah. notice that he made the three, the round of three sentries. We were talking about, like, well, is that really necessary? Well, he wanted units, but not Stalkers that are heavy in minerals so that he could make that Nexus. Like, even though it was a little bit far behind. Ooh, look at this. Oh, what is this? Oh, wait a minute. Second gate, but it's hidden. That's the wolf gate. That is the wolf gate. It is actually the wolf <laughs> gate. Um, the second gate that's hidden like this is usually when, when it's actually a wolf gate is on a second pylon that's like in the middle of the map. But you can do a lot of stalker pressure into like blink or just three gate stalker like timing attacks with this type of play. And it's often unscouted as well. So it's like, oh, okay, he's going to do like a one gate expand. That's crazy of him. And there's no way to really scout because you look around here and you're like, Okay, where where is the other pound? I don't know. Is he proxying me? What's going on? And then you're just and totally you have to close. get out if you want to save your probe. You exactly, know? exactly. And, and the then you don't know what's going on. You, know, you could put down some pylons, especially if you're going for your own blink, or you know, just in a mirror matchup like this, getting that one extra probe mining is pretty big. It's so crazy that SOS is willing to put it all on the line here in this game with this build. Well, this, you know, especially at these positions, this, like, watchtower is also really important because once you get on the map with three stalkers, you can even, like, if you get that uh, vision, it could be very useful for, you know, possibly taking out the stalker of deer if he pushes too far ahead. They were killing that mothership core, yeah. which is, I think is what is about to happen here. It's exactly what's about to happen. Look at this. Uh-oh. 85 energy. Mm -hmm. He backs off. If he, if he tries to commit here... Okay. They just barely miss each other here. I wonder why he's so not tense. just going straight for the Mothership Core. Uh, he doesn't know which way it went. That's why he's got that Mothership Core to the left to spot for it. And he's like, oh, okay, I don't know where it is. And he just kind of missed it. Now he's just going to go across the map, try to take favorable trades. So this is going to be aggressive 3-gate to 3-gate uh, blink. So I suppose this is going to have more stalkers, especially early on with that early 2-gate. But he's on a timer. He has to kind of do enough damage to Deer before that blink comes out. Because once it comes out, it's going to be super efficient trades for Deer and not so much for SOS. I think he just wants to fake it here and make him, like, just play really defensively. And then he's just going to transition into, uh, oh, look at that micro from SOS. Clearly better here at that. Yeah. Um, he's just going to transition into that robo to hold the blink and a nexus. He's going to get the immortal probably first, I think, before he gets the, uh, before he gets the nexus. Like, I don't think he thinks he's going to win the game here, especially after he sees these three gates. He just wants to pressure a little bit more. 
I think he actually could have won the game if he uh, committed to it. But like you said, just taking a safer approach. Oh my god, that's not that's bad. An Artosis pylon. He might actually still win the game, man. Uh, if he can't get these gates powered, then he just he's eventually he's going to overpower he's him. He's missing out on a ton of warp ins right now. Actually, I think he's going to maybe uh, fight under the cannon here for a second. And that powers the blink at the same time. Oh my god, That's I didn't even insane. realize that. That's Is that insane. second pylon repower that? I hope so. Yeah. Okay, it does. That was the original position. Yep. But I'm just worried for him once this, uh, once this Nexus cannon goes down. There's like so many units out here for SOS. He's continuously warping in. Deer will have blink. But it's going to be hard micro. Let's yeah. see. All right. By the way, Deer is the player who makes the first immortal. Hard to believe that. He's going to have to fight with probes here a little bit. It's a good position on these zealots to try to maximize uh, their damage here. And with, with this position for Deer, it's really hard for him to actually utilize blink. He's actually warping in units to take damage here so he can get that immortal out. That immortal was such a risky choice. It's like you're not utilizing yeah, really your was. full advantage of your tech here with your blink. He might think that SOS also has blink coming on, along the way. Maybe that's why he's doing this. Actually, I think that's exactly why he's doing this. He's like, if you have blink too with your advantage that you just got, I am in so much trouble. What do you think about these sentries? That's interesting. I think it's just resource efficient. He's going to try to trap this immortal. Look at that. Two Ooh. grabs, traps the immortal. It's exactly resource right. efficient. Like he, he second had Nexus cannon comes down, and he's got blink. Yeah, see, I don't... I thought he was just going to transition. He made a robo at home. Maybe he canceled it. I'm going to check that. No, he didn't cancel it. Well, that's... Uh, hey, he's going to lose everything here. That's game. Yeah. He's got one immortal, but... Ugh. Well, I mean, I guess maybe he could transition. There's but there's a, a pylon. Yeah, he can make a pylon in there. I thought it was a pylon, actually. He's going to do up. it right now. This hasn't been identified by SOS. And that will be huge. Yeah, because he's relying on the sentry. So yeah. he thinks he's going to get him back in this game. You can get Vision up there, blink up, and pretty much end it. Looks like that's what he's going for. He's even got that pawn. Finish now. He might even, oh, okay, I was going to say he might check to try to blink into the main from the other side and find that gateway and unpower that, which would, like, you know, stop the, uh, the production here for SOS quite significantly. I'm going to snipe this immortal. Oh, War Shield's going to trap two stalkers, but he can just blink. So blink's four, man. Another Immortal pops out in pretty clutch timing here. Uh, but look at this. He's brave enough to blink on top. Sentries basically don't do damage. He's going to try to get the Mothership Cords. He'll stop the second Nexus Cannon. The second Nexus Cannon just kind of makes us longer here. He yeah, did at least get it off. It. Yeah. Doesn't stack, so. Interesting Warp Prism. <laughs> yeah, he's just trying to make him think, like, oh, maybe he's going to have an Immortal. Maybe I should be careful, but. Or maybe that was just totally a misclick. I don't even know what's up with that Warp Prism. Could have been. Well, that's going to be game. What? It's underneath the Nexus Cam, but it just doesn't matter. With what Blink. a great series out of gear today. Yeah, seriously. Uh, really impressing me. GG. GG. Did not expect this result at all. No, I thought SOS was going to 3 on. Uh, Deer has been playing so, so badly, but we haven't seen his PvP in a while. Maybe this is his strongest matchup right now, and he shows it here today, taking out SOS in the round of 24. Man, was he good today. That was just really, really good. SOS is kind of just like in disbelief. He's like, I, well, I feel like all right. It seemed like SOS's original plan was to like poke and then make a nexus with his immortals, and then he, then he unpowered those gates and he was like, I win it, I win here. But Deer just kept his cool and made his own immortals, and eventually with his blank was able to chase. Like, I think SOS could have transitioned there, but he got a bit too aggressive. He stayed a bit too long. Yeah. Um, well, here you have it, guys. A three-one for Deer. He will advance to the round of 16. We're getting an interview with him here in a 